Hi everybody, this is Lara with an update with my Ethereum analysis for you, done at the end of Monday, 15th of November 2021. This analysis will be public on my website, pureelliotwave.com. If you click through, you'll be able to see it and all the charts and the text. So if you're not a, if you're a person who doesn't like to watch video to learn or to look at analysis, like me, I hate watching video, then click through. The link is down below in the description box on the YouTube channel and go and read the text and just look at the charts. That would be me. And I've also started doing Elliott Wave analysis of Bitcoin once a week as on a subscription basis. So if you go to my website and you click on this button here on the main page, then you'll be taken to this page where you, be, where you will be able to sign up for weekly Bitcoin analysis published every Monday with text, charts and video. And the cost is $40 US dollars a month. Okay, let's get back to the Ethereum analysis. Elliott Wave analysis first and classic analysis last. And I'll put chapters on the YouTube video, so if you just want to look at the classic analysis, you can jump on through. And I'm swapping over what was my main and alternate Elliott Wave counts in my last analysis of Ethereum after this upward movement. And we'll get to the why when I get to the classic analysis charts. This is now looking like the more likely scenario. This is the entire price history of Ethereum from this low, this is where I start my Elliott Wave count to this high. This subdivides perfectly as a five wave impulse, primary one, primary two, a double zigzag, primary three extended, it is 19.36 times the length of primary one, that's not a Fibonacci ratio, I'm just noting the lengths of these waves on the chart to use as a guide for further analysis. A regular contracting triangle for primary 4 and a short primary 5 which is 2.79 times the length of primary 1. A deep double zigzag for cycle 2 after this impulse is complete 5 steps up, 3 steps back, the basic Elliott wave pattern and now another 5 steps up for a third wave which may only subdivide as an impulse. At primary degree that will be labelled primary 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a possible target for Ethereum. If it's wrong, it may not be high enough. This is a Fibonacci ratio. What if cycle 3 reaches 11.09 times the length of cycle 1? That would give us a target at 15.860. Within cycle 3, primary 1 and 2 may be complete, and primary 3 may be incomplete and may be extending. With intermediate 1 and 2 complete, and intermediate 3 within primary 3, within cycle 3, in an early stage. This is a very bullish wave count for Ethereum. Let's take a look at the weekly chart where this low here of cycle 2 is this low here. Here's the impulse of primary 1, a zigzag of primary 2, an impulse for intermediate 1, a zigzag for intermediate 2. After this upward movement and the technical analysis situation at this high, not looking like we're going to get a big downward swing at this point, looking more likely to see continued upward movement, I'm going to label this intermediate 2 over. I don't want to label this primary 3, primary 4 because the duration of this pullback looks to be too brief to be labelled the same degree as this correction. This looks like it should be labelled a lower degree, so I'm going to label it intermediate 1 and 2, which leaves a very bullish wave count. Now we're looking at the weekly chart level, we've also got minor 1 and 2, so we've got a third wave at minor, intermediate, primary and cycle degree, all of the large degrees in a relatively early stages. Within minor 3, no second wave correction may move beyond its start, below 2767.4077. Let's go to the daily chart now, where this high for minor 1 is just off to the left of the chart. Let's go back, I'm sorry. The low for minor 2 down here is this point down here. From this low to this high, this looks like a pretty good looking 5 wave impulse, followed by a zigzag. Now I can't see from this low to this high a complete 5 wave structure, so I'm going to label a series of 1, 2 overlapping first and second waves, with sub minuet wave 2 probably incomplete. Although I would want to see a triangle here, I did try and figure out how to see a fourth wave in this position, but the problem is in here, all the overlapping. Here's the middle of the third wave within minute wave one. And now this fourth wave doesn't overlap here. This fourth wave is above here and so on. But if I try and see the third wave over up here, there's too much overlapping in these corrections overlapping in here to label 
the fifth wave over, sorry, a third wave over here and a fourth wave triangle in this position. And so I think the triangle might actually be a B wave. A, B, C, D, E, maybe it's going to move sideways or it could be some kind of combination. It could be over there as I've labelled it. Either way, I think we've got a small correction to, con to complete pretty soon and then a third wave at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 degrees to begin to the upside and so an increase in upward momentum would be expected as coming sooner rather than later now for Ethereum. Alternatively, at the weekly chart level, what if primary 3 was over here? If it was over, and this was my main wave count last time I published this analysis, although I did state I considered the two ideas to have a pretty close to even probability. That's changed now. I think this has a lower probability now. But it is possible that primary 3 was over here, and if it was, it was 15.27 times the length of primary 1. This is a pretty normal length for a third wave for Ethereum when we look back at its price history with that Elliott wave count on the monthly chart, and so this is possible. If primary 4 continues further as a running contracting or running barrier triangle, then it would have decent proportion to primary wave 2. If it's a triangle, it certainly could be longer lasting than the zigzag of primary 2 because triangles do tend to be longer lasting corrections. Intermediate B is now, I think it's a 1.18 length of intermediate A. It's within a normal range for a running, con running triangle, for the B wave in a running triangle, so this is entirely possible. But when I look at classic analysis at this high, if we're expecting a really big downward swing now for intermediate C, probably to end at this AC trend line as I have it pulled across these two lows down here. That's a pretty big downward swing. Um, we should be seeing some technical evidence of a sustainable high in place and I don't see that when I look at those technical charts. Let's go and have a look now at the weekly chart level upward movement with pretty light and for the last two completed upward weeks declining volume. A small doji here but a doji on its own is not a reversal reversal candlestick pattern. Resistance at 4380 was broken and now that may provide some support. So we've broken through really important resistance here on upward sessions and weeks which have closed above that point. That's a very bullish signal. Doesn't have good support from volume though at the weekly chart level, but let's look at that at the daily chart level. We have a bullish signal here from on balance volume. This supports the main Elliott wave count. This trend line is reasonably long held, has a fairly shallow slope and has multiple tests. It has strong technical significance and so this bullish signal offers some reasonable support to the main Elliott wave count. ADX is increasing, it is above both DX lines so the trend is just extreme but it's a long way to go before it gets as extreme as it can for this market. Here it got over 60 and was very extreme for quite a while while price travelled a considerable distance. Looking back at the price history with ADX for, for Ethereum, there is a long way to go before this becomes as extreme as it can get for this market. Likewise RSI. RSI can reach overbought, it can reach very deeply overbought and usually only when it exhibits some strong bearish divergence do we see a sustainable high in place for Ethereum. That was the case here, we got a fairly decent pullback. That is not the case here. RSI isn't even overbought. It hasn't reached deeply overbought. We do not have bearish divergence. This is not looking like it's a sustainable high. So this supports the main Elliott wave count. And now we've got new highs above this point and we're not seeing that divergence develop here between peaks. I do note it is here a longer term divergence but I'm looking for the situation to develop again here for it to reach overbought and then exhibit divergence again in a new cluster not looking back at this. That's one of the approaches I've learned seems to work better over the years with RSI and price. Stochastics is overbought but when we use when, when the market is trending we use RSI not stochastics. ATR flattening off as price moves sideways and now higher is actually pretty normal for a reasonably early stage in a new trend for this market. 
And I'm just putting the correlation coefficient between Ethereum and Bitcoin down here to note that while they do most of the time have a pretty strong positive correlation, it is absolutely unreliable, can completely break down. So just because my wave count for one expects a certain direction doesn't mean my wave count for another should also follow. The data shows that they're not reliably correlated. At the daily chart level, a small amount of support for their alternate wave count. We have a small bearish candlestick, sorry, a small bearish signal from on balance volume here, but this is not as strong as that strong bullish signal at the weekly chart level. The short term volume profile is bearish in that recent sessions for downward sessions have stronger volume. There's more pressure from sellers in recent days over the last couple of weeks or so than there is from buyers. We do see a little bit of a push from buyers when they do have a few sessions in a row. But for the short term, I'm considering a little bit more pressure to the downside. Price may find support though about 4400 that may offer reasonably strong support now that price is well broken through. A breaking above this important support and resistance area about 4,400 there was a little bit of support from volume not as much as the prior downward session but compared to other sessions close by we do have a little bit of support from volume for this upward session here closing above important resistance which is now support. We've been over on balance volume ADX at the daily chart level is declining indicating no clear trend at this time frame there's been quite a lot of overlapping ADX hasn't caught up with the pretty obvious upward trend a series of higher highs and a series of higher lows the basic definition of an upward trend all those little pullbacks can interfere with ADX signal here RSI is a neutral territory Plenty of room for price to continue higher if ADX tells us we're developing an upward trend. Stochastic's also neutral. And ATR, pretty much overall flat as price moves higher. Again, that's normal for Ethereum in the reasonably early stage of a bull run. That's all from me with your Ethereum analysis update. And I hope that everyone's having an awesome day.